Nimoy, and I was the, one of the first directors on Naruto. And as we all know, Naruto is the Sopranos of the anime world. <laughs> but no one's gonna die here tonight. My name's Quentin Flynn, I'm the voice of Iruka Sensei, and ho! My name is Lex Lang, and I play Hayate. He's a doctor who talks. Okay, drunk. <laughs> My name is Steve Kramer, and I play Hokage. <laughs> My name is Crispin Freeman. <laughs> and he plays Crispin Freeman. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Steve Staley and I play Neji. Hi, I'm Stephanie Shea, I play Hinata. Anyway, my question is, about what point in the episodes are you guys up the dubbing? Like, which episode are you guys dubbing right now? 
Δεν είναι εδώ. Do I get a part? <laughs> <laughs> 
guys, like, what's been like for all you guys, like, especially those that have been involved in like, the fight scenes, like, which one's been like your favorite thus far in all the Naruto series? Episode 30. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even messing. Um, episode 30, where, where uh, the, the grass, Sam Grass. Grass Ninja. Thing. Grass Ninja, who's actually Orochimaru. That blew me away. Oh. Yeah, when you're in the awesome. forest. You guys don't even know what episode 30 is. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite was my only one where I kicked the the snot out of that three stooges looking mofo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I can't>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gara. Gara's all over that. <laughs> I like the one where the good Kirk fought the bad Kirk. <laughs> Well, Reed's a clumsy character, and he could be fun to play. He's a funny guy. Alright! 
You what? Just give him one. Got it. Memorized. Got it. Memorized. And they submitted a lot of catchphrases, and that one was approved. It really was as simple as that, but we tried a bunch. In the beginning, we did a lot of retakes and re, uh, reprints and all that kind of stuff. What do you call those? Pickups. <laughs> I've had a few. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we have a lot of pickups at the beginning, and believe it was finally settled on. It was, it was showing up in weird places at the beginning, yeah. like in the middle of sentences. And, Finally, we started putting it at the end of sentences made it <laughs> I believe it will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that anymore. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Yes. Thanks. Hello. Uh, thank you for being here, you guys. Um, thanks for having us. Uh, I want to be a voice actor someday, and I, want, I just want to know because I get colds a lot. <laughs> and I want to know what you guys do when you have a cold. I do Naruto. <laughs> Mr. Medicine, Mr. I can, yes, so we should go so. I bring a note from my mom and call him sick. <laughs> I have these little Chinese herbal throat drops, and I bring them into the studio and just pass them out, and everybody thinks I'm a drug dealer. But... Thank you. Manuka Honey, I hear also. Manuka Honey. Who's on Oprah? I have one question. It's like, I was just, I'm surprised. I, I didn't know that Steve Bloom would be the voice of Russian Mara. I thought it was just something new because it sounded completely different from Mindy and Zavza. How yeah. were you able to switch the voice so drastically? Yeah. I, I, the between and I have Mary kick me in the man. <laughs> <laughs> There's somebody who looks almost just like her, like about half, uh, about a third of the way back in line, only she's Naruto. And they're, and they're twins, and that's one of the awesomest things that I've ever seen. I remember you two from, um, two years ago. That's the first time. Really? No. This is the first time we've done these. No, yeah. but you were, in, you were in dresses. You were in pink, some sort of... Wait. Didn't you yes. come here too? Yes. I remember yeah. you. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, you're... and it's hit or miss. We never know what's going to take and what's not. It shows that some shows we work on, we just think, this is the most amazing thing, and no one watches it, and then other shows just take off, and we're, we're all, we got lucky out to be on a show that really took off, you know? But, you know, I did, while we were still writing the first few episodes, uh, I was watching 60 Minutes, and they were at uh, the San Diego Con, Comic Con, yeah. and I saw in the background just, everyone walking by in the Naruto headbands. So, so I shot an email off to the producer, Jamie Simone, and I was like, we're on to something here. It's going to be huge. And we're going to all buy all this stuff. <laughs> Next question. Thanks. All right, first on, Orochimaru, Maikwa, Orbu. Okay, two questions. Where's Haku? Where, where's Haku? Come on, where is he? Ah. 
Yeah. Susan's gonna make it. She's pregnant. So. Was it soft hands? Did soft have something to do with it? Is for everyone. Um, I know there are some differences between um, recording voices in Japan and recording voices in America. What's the difference? We do it better. Anyway, you want to take that? I mean, besides the language. The time zone. <laughs> Actually, um, I've been doing this a long time, and I talked to some of the Japanese 200 producers. Two hundred years. Two hundred years. I've been. <laughs> uh, I talked to some Japanese producers one time. One of the things that we noticed is that the Japanese. Uh, uh, words don't seem to fit in the mouths very well. Yeah. And I asked the guy why, because he was complimenting us on how much care we were taking to make things fit. And I said, thank him, because he was speaking Japanese, and I said to the producer, tell him thank you and ask him why they don't do that. And the guy asked him that, he wasn't insulted. He said in Japan, the, they hire uh, very famous actors, Japanese actors, to do these parts. And the sync, <clears throat> the synchronization in the mouths is not as important to them as hearing the voices of those particular actors. If we brought Jack Nicholson in to do Naruto, you wouldn't care whether it fit him. Supposedly. <laughs> but we take a lot more care of doing that. That's just the American audiences are used to words fitting in the mouth. So that's one of the main differences. There you go. Good answer, Sixty Frank Rose and Dunn. He cries over all the anime. I can get him that way. Um, uh, uh, actually, yes. Uh, uh, actually, I think Mary Elizabeth and I both cried at the end of Wolf's Rain. Actually, uh, when I came in to do that section, you know, Mary Elizabeth was worried because it might take a while, and I said, I don't care how many takes it takes, we're going to get this done. And one of the best. Uh, compliments I ever got was when the producers were watching it down later, one of them came to me and said, you actually brought tears to my eyes with your performance at the end, so that's probably one of my proudest moments, and I have Mary Elizabeth and the producers to thank for it. Kristen, Kristen made me cry when we were recording Scrap Princess, but it wasn't at a moment when he was supposed to. <laughs> Personally, as yourself, not as your character, if you could hook up with any of the characters from Naruto, <laughs> <laughs> I've already hooked up with half the cast. I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping I'll get with the female members soon. How are female? What's everything like? Michael, I see you stepping up. <laughs> I know he's my brother, and it's very wrong. But God, it makes me hot. Kyle? I don't know, Keita just likes doggy style. <laughs> I think Anko would go for a suspect to so Johnny Depp. <laughs> Bug Boy? I haven't met her yet, but if there ever appears to be a giant black widow, I'd do her in the <laughs> Well, then I'd have to say, if you've ever seen Naruto uh, shape shift into a beautiful, yeah. <laughs> My guess is that Haruka would probably, given the opportunity with dim lights, take it. Do you want to make your sexy cheeks, you baby? Do you want to? Thank you very much. You're welcome. What is your favorite part about playing the character that you play? <laughs> What's your favorite part about playing uh, Naruto? Um, well, you know, out of all, 
screaming. It's the, the screaming, screaming, isn't it? The screaming <laughs> and the howling and the growling. No. <laughs> That's my, the growling is my least favorite, personally. But um, I think that there are a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of different levels to the character, and he's so psychotic sometimes. I don't think I'll ever get to play any character that goes through so many emotions in the span of 23 minutes. <laughs> Which is a good thing, and a bad thing. So, um, I, yeah, it's, it's, he's nuts. And it's really fun to play because you're really serious, and then you're really goofy, and so that's it. You're really good. I, I like finally getting to play the bad boy. If any of you have ever heard me in anything I've done up until now, nope. nobody's ever really let me do that before. So, um, this was so darn good. <laughs> <laughs> How about Stephanie? What's your favorite part about playing? Hinata. Stand up. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I'm standing. <laughs> 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 The big one you know, big one. she's just so sweet, and I guess it would just be all the, how many different ways can I gasp or say, Naruto? Thank you. 
But I did find a... I collect that stuff. I'm a big geek from way back. But um, I run out of space real quick. <laughs> Liam, did you have a search in Japan, I believe, for some Yeah, dollar? I didn't find much. I collect pictures of Yuri, though. Yeah! <laughs> All over the West. Do you have any naked pictures of Yuri? Do you want some? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a collector, too. I just bought Naruto, the Naruto purse, the frog. It's just too cute. <laughs> <laughs> right. more cute with it. Oh. Yes, thank you. X, please. Hi, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for coming to AX. And I have two questions. Um, one is, did you know about Naruto before? No. And, <laughs> and if you were to cosplay as any other Naruto character besides the role you are playing, which would it be or who would it be? I think we'd probably all be the sexy jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's Michael is sexy juice. It's very rare for him to be wearing clothes. So we're lucky today. Yeah. Tara, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, sexy juice. Good job. We know. Thank you. I would cosplay as Tamari. <laughs> Uh, my question is, is uh, what's with Gara with the love and the death sign? And my second question is, uh, who has the best acting voice What's with Gara's love and hate? I, uh, oh, it's later! No, you know, <laughs> later. <laughs> I bet somebody out here would know that better. Uh, it's later. later. He only loves himself. And he was never loved by, by anyone. He was a child of the 60s. It was a different time. And, and I am the best actor on the show. And, and, and you suckers. Jersey, baby. Jersey. And he, just, he showed you how good of an actor he is right there. That was very powerful in front of They're all amazing. They're all fantastic. But Miley has a minute. For acting, Jeff. For acting. <laughs> so, kind of answers? In the most general, politically correct way possible. <laughs> Good. Next, please. Yeah. Oh, did you have another? Yes. So we're off by virtual number. I'm gonna stalk you. <laughs> What's the internet? <laughs> did anybody go online to uh, look at the fan sites? Uh, Stephanie did. Uh, to check out what the critiques were. Oh, critiques. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, and um, you know, it's funny because I, I was interviewed by some publication and they're like, you know, Hinata's a pretty, she's very meek and timid and kind of scared a lot. Um, how do you, what do you do to get into character? And I pretty much go online and read all the critiques and it freaks me out <laughs> and I get scared. But I think it's just, Naruto is such a popular show. It's so, so popular and so many people have seen a version of it already and are have that ingrained in their mind and so they don't like anything that's different or anything that's not met. Um, and I just, you kind of just have to 
accept that. And then there's, so there's a Japanese version for them, and they can watch that. And then there's an English version for all you them, they can keep photo. But all those haters, all those haters, they're still watching the show. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And all I know is when Guy Sensei premiered within four minutes of the East Coast feed, Skip had his own fan site that somebody had established for Guy Sensei English Talk! Yeah, but along with that, some kid posted how much he hated me the other day. Absolutely, and I think he's here. So I'm gonna find him. Yeah, they're, they're the hands. Okay. You guys are no, there too. You guys give compliments with insults like couched in sides. You're like, I love your work, I love your work. Why do you do your voice so screechy and annoying? <laughs> But he's cool. <laughs> right. Thank you. I mean, is any show, I mean, Stephanie said it beautifully. There's just, you do a popular show and there's bound to be people that just cherish the original and aren't willing to even open up and listen to it. Don't, <laughs> Don't we Digi know it. What? Don't we Digi know it. So. Next. Okay, um, I have two questions. First one is, first, are you guys going to be dubbing the English, the movies for Naruto as well? I'm sorry. Don't know yet. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, it's like Just don't know. Okay. The answer is if they'll have us. Yes, that absolutely. Works. They'll have us. Okay, second question is, if you could support any parent of the characters, two of the characters on the show, what would it be? You can support any parent. It doesn't matter. Yali, Yali. So, what is your character? Your two favorite characters. Who would you like to see get started? Lenny and Squiggy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Guy and Rocky. <laughs>
That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I was wondering, since um, the dubs of the techniques and juices are so much longer than the Japanese ones, is it sometimes awkward or a mouthful to spit them out? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up and say, Shut Hey, Tom, hold on. Yes, the... Here we go. Yes, the answer's yes. You have to get it all in, and so it's... Like, I have a Shadow Possession Jutsu, so... And my character's supposed to be cool about it, so it's supposed to be like, Shadow Possession Jutsu. You know, that's what you want it to be. You know, what a dread, you know? And then it's, Shadow Possession Jutsu! You gotta get it. <laughs> Faster? Shadow Possession Jutsu! And my voice goes up, and can we bring it back down? And fit it. And it's like that. So it, it does get crazy to try and get it on. Alright, thanks. Hello, hi. Thank you. Awesome Monkey King shirt. I know, my mom got it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too much news. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, with the way the series is going, it does get a little more grittier. I was wondering, is it going to move into Adult Swim, or are you guys going to try to take out stuff? Or you know, what's going to go on with that? Well, we, we really don't have anything to do with the editing of it, and we end up doing uh, a, just a clean version, I mean, or the full uncut version for the DVDs. So it is uncut on the DVD, and it will be for that. But yeah, it gets pretty nasty. It gets really, uh, really dark, and I'm not sure what well, else yeah. they're going to do. It gets nasty. Yeah. Uh, uh, my last question, uh, could anybody in the cast, me and my friends back there, got an inside joke? Every time we eat our food, we always go, thanks for the food! So, if could any one of you just do that and react that? Thanks for the food! Uh, Believe it! <laughs> um, I was wondering, do you guys think that like there's something more to Naito and Sasuke than enemies and friends? Can you elaborate on that? What do you mean exactly? <laughs> <laughs> on or off the set? Nothing to the like, characters than like, I don't like characters. Like wrestlers? <laughs> um, no, I can't elaborate. <laughs> you wrote that fan fiction, didn't you? <laughs> Cartoon Network, you cannot talk about any of the casting for Pakun or Jiraiya or any. So that question did not happen. But the actor's name rhymes with Eve Oom. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like the answer though when you hear it. Yes. My question's for Sakura. If you really were your character, who would you pick? Naruto or Sasuke? Talk for about a day. Yeah. And that's the truth. I go home, I don't 
talk, like, you know, I don't answer my phone. But never, you know, by the next day I'm fine. So. How, many, how many of you have played the games? I mean, you hear it, yeah. Uh, so you know, you know how much, I mean, it's pretty much all oh, fighting, 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 and just to, and we do them one after another, after another, after another. I mean, when we're recording the episode, the fight is just one little fight, and then we break it up with dialogue and everything else, but when we do these games, we do all the dialogue first and save all the screaming for the end, and it rips your throat out. Yeah, that was a great question. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh. There you go. I'm totally late. Okay, this question, as a team, it's for you guys. Um, in Japan, Pokemon has uh, almost 1,600 episodes. Sasai-san has almost 5,000 episodes. And Naruto, being close to 300, we are not even half in the story. So you, as a team, do you know what this means? I mean, are you prepared to be five, eight years in these same characters all over? That's my first question. Yes. It, means, it means I never should have left after episode win. 25. I just, I just gave up eight years of work, I guess. <laughs> so, I mean, what can, can we as your public, can we count you in five or six years more when episode 815? <laughs> Are you going to keep watching? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I hear Sasuke disappears after a while, so... My last question. Who gonna voice Naruto's father when he appears? Who do you think of... Oh, no, oh, no. No spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers. Tom Wayne. Thank you. Tom Wayne will voice Naruto's father. <laughs> Haku? Hi, um, you do, first of all, you do a really good job. I'm really impressed with the English version as opposed to the other film that I think that I have a lot of other ways to stand as a member of the family. Um, I think you're doing a little closer than the master. Thank you. Um, my first, I have two questions. My first question is how do you normally prepare, um, how do you normally like, say, practice to dance a character before actually performing. How much, uh, what kind of preparation do you guys do to, uh, where's your characters? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Michael comes in with a six pack of, uh, yeah. I, I usually, uh, take the time to hold my breath until I'm about to pass out. We don't usually get a lot of time to, to prepare for stuff because sometimes we're just seeing the script for the first time when we walk in the door that day for work. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I, I don't know. Like, no. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. <laughs> magic. Well, I, we have time for one more question, if that's okay. I'm so sorry, you guys, but. One more question. Uh, well, you can let the guy I know, Rockley. We gotta do yes. Oh, it's a phenomenal conqueror, Rockley. Right? Yeah. You, you know, uh, Kakashi's Make Out Paradise book. Would you? Would any of you guys read it? Yeah. <laughs> Kakashi reads a Make Out Paradise book. He basically. So, uh, which one of you all would? Uh, can, can you get me one? <laughs> Who would read it?